Hello, this is Brian. I'm going to show you some some stuff on Stat Powers now. Uh, Stat Powers is a website that I developed to help students in introductory statistics classes um, get in get a uh, a useful, very thorough, uh, easy to use uh, software, web-based software that they can use for their for their entire course. Um, I'm going to go through. Uh, just a little bit of the uh, introduction to the website here and uh, in future videos go into more detail. So this is just going to go over sort of the layout of the site and get it navigating around to the different parts that there are. Uh, when you go to statpowers.com uh, there's a menu at the top which is how you will get from page to page. It's broken up into uh, these four menus which actually it's like uh, kind of like two different categories. The first is analysis. So this is like what you do with data. And um, and then it's it's broken down in terms of different types of data, like whether you have two or one sample, whether they're independent, that kind of thing. Um, and the distributions refer to um, uh, probability distributions, discrete distributions, uh, which include the binomial distribution and the Poisson and the geometric, uh, the uniform distribution. These will allow you to calculate probabilities from probability distributions, as well as um, in some cases um, you can calculate percentiles. Uh, for continuous distributions, you can count, calculate percentiles. But they're kind of standard um, probability calculators. Uh, they also have sampling features, so you can sample random data from, from these distributions. The custom discrete is a is a great little tool that allows you to build a probability distribution from either from data or by specifying the probabilities for any discrete uh, distribution. So you ha if you have um, a, a a finite number of outcomes and you want to specify the probability for each of those, you can use this this tool. Uh, continuous distributions, um, the the continuous uniform the normal distribution, Gaussian I like to call it, to avoid <laughs> you know, uh, confusion about the word normal, uh, the t distribution and so forth. So if you need to calculate probabilities from these continuous distributions, these are very easy tools to use. They have a visual component so that it shows you the picture of the of the probability chart as well as allowing you to calculate percentiles. Um, uh, and then lastly, there's a sampling distributions, which are going to be useful when you're studying the central limit theorem, um, uh, looking at how the sampling uh, distribution and the, the standard error of these uh, estimates is affected by sample size. And lastly, there's this little button over here that, if, that has a couple of options. Um, precision is how many decimal points of precision you want to use, and that's going to apply to all of the outcome out, outputs that the website gives and then whether you want your charts to be colorful or not. Stat powers, uh, just for fun, uh, it is um, the, the color is just random every time you go to refresh the page. Also, if you don't like the color, you can just click on the bar at the top and it will change the color to a random color and the whole theme will change. So if you, if, if you want to have a certain color just for fun, um, you can click on that, but it doesn't really affect the functionality at all. Um, in most of these, so the the website is divided up into panels. Everything you need. I'm right now. I'm on the um, quantitative one sample uh, uh, page. So I can here. I can enter a data set. I can name it. This is actually um, uh, precipitation data. You can name your data sets, um, and you have a, a data set um, like data entry. Uh, it's very similar to other pages. These are um, very flexible. You can separate your data by commas, spaces, tabs, um, or just blank space. And uh, also, so anytime you kind of click out of it, it's going to clean up the data. It'll sort the data uh, from smallest to largest automatically, and it will um, remove extra white spaces and stuff like that. Um, you have an option of sharing data, which if you click on that, it will generate a long link, which will, if you click the long link, it basically encodes this data into a URL. 
so um, you can share that with anybody. It also will generate a tiny URL, which is uh, just oh, something that's very, very short that you can copy into a, an email or something um, or into your discussion post. So this way you could, um, you don't have to take up a huge amount of space with your link. And it will get, and this it can handle uh, data like probably up to, um, I'm going to say like roughly like 200 or something um, numbers of in your data set. I don't know. It, it depends on the browser. But for, for small data sets, this is super handy. Um, so the main button is calculate now, although in general, um, when you make changes to your data, um, you don't have to actually click calculate because everything is calculated automatically for you. When you expand one of these panels, it should refresh the content of the panel. So I'm going to open up the histogram and the histogram is going to be there for me. Um, you can anything I open, it's going to have this for me. The, so it's going to be, this is separated into summary statistics, uh, all the summary stats for this data. Um, you expand and collapse them by clicking on the plus and the minus. In some places there are common uh, inputs. The confidence level for all of these confidence intervals is set here. So for my uh, estimation of the mean, it's you calculate it using just, just setting the value here. Um, and uh, and so forth and and so for hypothesis testing you set the the value common value there um, and just generally um, also for any time you have a chart uh, you are going to see a little button in the corner of the chart this is a super handy feature just a very uh, foolproof way of downloading the image just click that and the image will be downloaded for you you don't have to click and save it's going to download it to your whatever your your default like download folder is um, but that way it, it you don't have to right click and save as although that works too or take a, a screenshot um, and um, so whenever you see that little little button that's what that does you just click that and it downloads the image for you um, and so that's a that's an overview of stat powers very simply um, I, in the videos, I'll go through um, all of the different sections in more detail and talk about the features on each of these pages and what they do. Uh, so that's it for this video.